guys, it's Anne. Welcome to the channel. And today, by the end of this video, I am going to show you the fastest, easiest way to worm compost. It doesn't have to be because you're lazy. It might just be because you're too busy. Hang on and let me show you how I do this. First thing you're going to need are some boxes. Any old boxes that come in the mail, anything that you might eat cereal or pasta or more cereal. <laughs> eat a lot of cereal. All right, so then what we're going to do is we're going to take a one gallon jug of water here and we are going to soak these cardboard boxes, which I think regular cardboard like comes with the Amazon box or the Walmart box. Um, that's cardboard, but I think technically the ones with the, uh, the cereal and whatnot are called chipboard or chetboard. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong about that. But I'm going to let this soak for a little bit so that it gets completely saturated. While that is soaking, I'm going to go grab the worms and the food. So what you're looking at now is the old lasagna bin. And we're going to see if we can't get some worms to come over and uh, start a new lasagna bin. Now they did have a little bit of the bedding here. But, uh, you know, like the cardboard but we're going to start a whole brand new bin. So we're just going to grab them up and put them over here and see if we have enough to start the bin. I think the, uh, the goulas was, uh, or goulas, dear God, I'm never going to get that right. So we're just going to shake, shake these guys off here and grab up a pile of worms. And these have been the ones that have been working in the lasagna bin here for a good long time. And they do really well in here. I think there's at least a pound, maybe more. But I want to make sure that I get most of the, the worms away from the old cardboard. And give this last little bit time to finish up on its own and dry and then that way I can harvest the castings. This is a mix of the red wigglers, the blue worms, and the European night crawlers and they do very very well with this kind of a bin. So I'm just kind of grabbing them up and we will incorporate these guys into our new lasagna bin. This has been soaking for probably five minutes or so, and we're going to have a nice thick box on the bottom here, and uh, that'll keep the worms and the food separated. So what I'm going to start out with first is some food that's been sitting in the bottom of one of my buckets waiting for this to happen, and it has also got some coconut coir in there. Then we're going to put down one of our cereal boxes here. All right, more food that's been combined with the uh, coconut coir. Now that you could use paper bedding or whatever you want to, to kind of soak up the water just a little bit. So that food has been sitting for a good long time. This is relatively fresh food. Came straight off my counter, hasn't been frozen or anything. What we have here is we have created some fast food and some slow food. So the worms will be able to get into the stuff that's been in the bucket for a while immediately and then they'll be able to get into this in a week or so. Give them another layer and then a top layer. You say, Ann, where's the worms? You're right, I forgot the worms. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put them in between the layers. And then we're going to put the top layer on. And right now, because it is winter, I am going to put a little bit of the bubble wrap on. It doesn't get any simpler than that, guys. I have an entire playlist dedicated to the lasagna bin. Start to finish as it has cycled over and over again, and it takes about six, maybe eight months, most of the time six, to cycle through until you get to the part where you're ready to harvest the lasagna bin. All right, guys, well, if you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. 
Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms and everybody. Have a good day.